Well, this is good. I have I have literally like zero preparation for this. I just realised as I started doing this that uh, of course my LU is going to be muted. LU audio is going to be muted. I need to get up. I mean, okay, no, this I did actually bring up in advance, but it still takes me a second because I only know how to get the live page up once I've gone live. Well, this is good. I oh great, and I don't want to echo with myself. Let's mute that and keep going. Okay, there we are. Okay. Yeah. Um, I basically, it's been a little while. Been a little while, and I've just, I just had an exam the other day, and I'm kind of feeling like, I don't know, let's just muck around and do something unimportant with my life. Or, you, you know what I mean. Sometimes it's nice to not feel like you've got to be revising for that next exam, or doing anything for anyone, and, like, you can just muck around because mucking around is fun fun is good um oh well uh, now i can actually see all the chats cool um yes yeah, so deal you've been down for a few days i've like, like looking at doing this yesterday um is there a place you can find my ted talk um no because that would dox me um <laughs> um unfortunately uh for for now i am not I can't remember if, wait, if I mentioned it on the channel. I must have done at some point. I must, well, I must have done for you to know, but uh, uh, no, there it. Um, no, well, I mean. Uh, no, no, my. No, because uh, TEDx talks, or at least the group of TEDx I did it with, they basically said uh, they weren't going to record any talks. So actually, no, the TEDx talk, uh, because it's TEDx rather than TED. Or this particular group of TEDx anyway, no, there would be no place to find that. Just thank God, because that was... If I, I I don't know if I've ranted about this before. I've probably mentioned at some point that I gave this talk, but I don't think I've ever ranted about how genuinely... how much I hated that talk. Like, seriously. With everything I... Like, every part of me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> why this sudden ire towards TEDx? Um, basically, I was really, really inspired um, to start to start do uh, to start like one particular area of physics by uh, by this one particular by this one particular person writing a particular paper, and I find out when doing a little bit of research, I, I sign up for TEDx. A uni, because it's kind of like, oh, this would be really cool. Um, and then I do this, and then I, uh, then I do a little bit of research, and it turns out the guy who started the entire field, uh, he also he did a TEDx talk at some. I'm trying to remember what university, but um, he did a TEDx talk at some point, and that that's on YouTube. Because apparently, that university uh, lets you, I don't know, do stuff on. Uh, put put up the TEDx talks on YouTube, um, but yeah, and so I was like, oh, what if I could just what if I like I, I obviously am nowhere am nowhere near as knowledgeable or anything in the topic, but that would be so cool to like follow in the footsteps of someone who I've really looked up to, and so I kind of kind of watched his talk as well, trying to get inspiration for like how do you convey these ideas to people, uh, these sorts of things, and yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that was that was uh, interesting because basically I went to do it with um, I went to do it. I wrote up a script. I had like the best signing off for this script I could ever have, which was my mother, who's just generally tired of me talking about physics because <laughs> she hears it constantly. Like she signed off on, oh, this is a really good talk. Like this act, this makes it really understands. But like I better understand what you've been doing now. Um, I was like brilliant and send it to the TEDx people, and they're like, no, rewrite it. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I mean, I wasn't planning on writing a script to begin with, because I never write a script when I, like, <laughs> ironic from the guy who all his YouTube videos are scripted, but, like, I never, I never write a script for, like, public speaking or anything. The only reason I write a script for YouTube videos is because there are so many things I'd like to talk about, my mind has a tendency to flip from one thing to another. Um, and honestly, I might as well just just make notes. 
Uh, like if I'm or if I'm making notes, like I write in the same way I way I speak. It's a similar speed, honestly, for me to make notes as it is for me to write a whole script. Um, so I tend to just write a whole script uh, when it comes to these videos. Whereas when making like a presentation or something, I'll write notes because, like making a presentation, you want to interact with the audience, so you don't want to have your attention diverted. Whereas Anyway, I am, I am totally, this is the reason I need a script. <laughs> and this is the entire reason. Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay, I should also actually get on to, I was interested in seeing whether or not block yard and properties were working, but um, we've now seen that, so let me switch out minifigures. Um, because there are two minifigures we could be working on right now. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I went into this with huge hopes. I, I wrote it and they were kind of, I was initially like, okay, script. I wouldn't normally write one, but okay, let's do it. It's good. It's good. We're doing this. Let's get this all planned out. Um, and then, um, then they came back to me like, no, rewrite the script. Oh, no, write the script. So write the script, then rewrite the script. I was like, okay. Don't really know what you want me to rewrite, but let's... I, I, they, they made some valid points, which is rather than trying to explain the underlot... Rather than trying to explain, like, levels of abstraction... Explain... Well, basically, don't do it by, like... The way in physics we tend to understand things is we have one level of abstraction, which, like, makes one concept simpler. Then we have another level of abstraction, which makes another concept simpler. And you kind of just pile levels of abstraction on top of one another. As long as you understand all the rungs in the ladder, you can understand the concept. But that's quite hard to convey in a single talk, because truly understanding a single level of abstraction there can be quite difficult. And so my tendency to kind of explain step by step as though the person needs to have a familiarity with all these levels of abstraction isn't that useful it's far better to do things by kind of a more direct analogy and so i did that that, that was a very good point um and like again learn from that quite happy to uh to have that discussion and then it came down to uh and then they were like no rewrite it again rewrite again no it can contain no physics <laughs> pretty much and i was at this stage like i'm sorry i signed up to give a talk on physics like i wasn't planning on it to be like a physics society talk like i would give to a physics society like the one of my old school or something like i wanted I, I i understood it wasn't going to be like that but it was kind of just everything i everything i tried to do to include like any tiny bit of physics or a message which was even in part like because tedx talks have to have a message and like any part of the message that was even in part about physics they were like no like you can't have this in a tedx talk which like for a fact wasn't true because i had uh i had the i had this reference tedx talk i was going off of um and i was kind of like well that's <laughs> That's awful. I, I know for a fact you can have these in TEDx talks. They're just choosing not to do it. And so basically the TEDx talk ended up being awful. It ended up basically coming down to me saying something along the lines of my message for the talk, which started off being just a cool thing. Let's get people excited about the fact that, hey, there's this area of physics and you can have really cool things like hiding in like existing discoveries and things people have looked at in the past. Because like, that's the really cool thing about the field um the fact that like it's it's optics but maxwell's equations have been known for years there was just this field hiding underneath that just required someone looking at it in a new way and i thought that's a really inspiring message the fact that even in something that seems so obvious that it's completely understood there's still always room to make new discoveries and kind of that was a good message to kind of think about and start adding to it like that wasn't originally the message originally the message was hey metamaterials are cool um but it kind of changed. But then at the end, the talk was, look for detail in the world around you, because you never know what you're missing. And it was kind of, well, brilliant. I have just given the most generic talk ever. Great. Now, that was a complete and utter waste of time. Anyone could have given, there was no reason this talk should, it should have been me giving this talk. Um, which is kind of awful, because you want, uh, I accidentally tapped. <laughs> I somehow managed to right click out there um but yeah you want to have you want you don't want to talk that just that like anyone could give because like then what's the point of listening to the talk if you could give the talk yourself 
why listen to someone else do the talk? Why not just think it to yourself? <laughs> it was kind of just like, well, brilliant. That, that was useless. So, yes. Um, thank God that TEDx talk never got posted anywhere. Like, oh, I was not happy. I was so, so unhappy. I literally... They sent me messages afterwards. Or they sent me emails afterwards, and I just completely... I, I, like, I'm always polite about replying to emails, etc. But I was just like, no, I cannot. I cannot physically talk to you. Um... <laughs> Because I, I, it was awful. I had to write the script, rewrite the script so many times before they were happy with it. Then I had to do something I haven't haven't done for years, which is memorise a script. Because normally, I like if I'm giving a talk that needs to be from memory, I'll just memorise a series of points. And yeah, everything about that. It took up so much time in the middle of term when I'd written a script that I could have memorised like uh, ages ago. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not good fun. That, that is a huge, huge, huge rant, which was probably not the, the chill, chill stream you're expecting. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, uh, and yeah, uh, Mr. Samuelie, animation major, TED Talks are always fun to play in the background. That's actually a good shout, because I... Uh, I like listening to something informative in the background, but not some but the thing it like in the background of doing stuff but the thing about like listening to something in the background is you won't get the message out you you won't get the message out of it if the message requires much thought but like that's literally what tedx talks are designed for they're designed to get the message across without like requiring someone to spend a huge amount of time and thought processing it so that's actually a really really good shout it's kind of like an, uh, an informative audio book, but like, rather than a book that happens to be in audio book form, something that is literally designed to be as intelligible as possible with as little effort as possible to the listener. It's a really good shout. Um, because like I've tried to do that in the past with maths lectures and with uh, some Galois theory lectures. Uh, but, yeah, good shout, very good shout, because, uh, like, those, they all require, oh god, the Galois Theory lectures entirely, like, they require, they require you to be paying constant attention, especially if, like me, you actually know none of the underlying group theory. Um, But I mean, if you if you just want to hear someone ranting about meta materials, <laughs> I mean, I can do that on the channel any day. I don't need a TED talk for it, um, or even a TEDx talk. Um, but yes, anyway, I am just, I yeah. Uh, reason reason for doing this today is yeah, uh, exam had an exam yesterday, uh, which is going to be. Uh, well, a mock exam yesterday for our exams at the end of the year, but given COVID and everything, that just may end up being our end of year exam, or like that might be. There's there's a reasonably high possibility that uh, we just won't be that we'll just be assessed on like that if they can't get their acts together, or that that will be a that will be a large part of determining like our predicted grades, which they'll then just take at the end of the year. <laughs> it's no one knows what's happening. We love it. Um, uh, hello, Winston. Good to see you. Um, but yeah, and I also figured I have not shown off deal you or anything in ages. Speaking of which, I also need to do op crooks at some time. I really need to do op crooks at some time. Um, oh no, please tell me there isn't a delay on chat, because I'm suddenly getting like multiple messages through at once. And like that happens... That happens quite often when there's like a weird bug where I get delayed to chat. It could also just be that people have just started like getting notifications, etc. Popping up. Um, but anyway, hello Raymond. Um, I'm just, I'm just mostly concerned that I'll have been, I've been ranting about the TEDx talk post that like there have been other people asking questions and trying to talk to me. 
for like the past 10 minutes because it's lag or something. Anyway. Ah well. If it is. If it is, I'm sure you're used to it by now. I'm sure you're used to the the insane level of planning and structure there's any content I release onto this platform. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, well, I mean, <laughs> this only works if there isn't too much of a delay, but how, how's everyone's New Year's been? Haven't been like holidays, because I have I've not done stuff in... Uh, wait a second. I said, said my last video was like... or my last stream was like two weeks ago, so maybe I ha did do one since New Year's. I don't remember doing one. Again, competence. It's amazing. <laughs> I know what, definitely know what I'm doing and what's going on in my life. Um, let's just... So, uh, I should say... Let's just put on the stead around the time. Just oh, brilliant. Okay. No, that is... Okay, cool. That wasn't certain. Okay, let's go. Passport. I am trying to pick up um, probably a, a Vanguardian. No, Paradox Protector. Uh, that'll be under Vanguardians. Paradox Protector. Um, I mean, mostly. So the thing is, the aim is just to grind as many mechs as possible because the, the Dark Spiderlings will be grinded for faction tokens any, anyway. Um, so it makes sense to it makes sense to like grind out the mechs a little bit. Um, uh, the only issue with this is I can't really I can't grind them out the same way as I would have done on my assembly character. Actually, I mean I could just do this because um, the as long as I keep moving, the stromlings I leave behind don't pose a massive threat to me. What I would do on my assembly character? Okay, maybe maybe I take that back. But now they're gone. Um, But yeah, on my assembly character, what I'll do is I'll, like, drop stuff off. I'll drop stuff off to smash the to smash the mechs, then I'll run to the other side, uh, build the quick builds on the other side. Oh, ouch, that's actually getting a little dicey. Okay, let's... For you, I've gotten a lot better at timing my uh, ground pound attacks so that I don't get smashed by the Stromlings midair. It's not 100% timing. A large part of it uh, is just... Uh, a large part of the, a large part of it is like whether you're on level terrain or not. Um, you want a land shark in this stream? Um, okay, I can give it a go. Um, so the fundamental part of the land shark bug is to be using a quicksicle in areas that have a water plane. I don't know if it has to be underneath them. Um, but certainly nearby. So specifically, using a quicksicle, double jumping, stuff like that. Uh, presumably, like it's presumably like running forward and double jumping into like an obstacle in uh, Nimbus uh, in Nimbus Station Red Blocks area. Um, I mean, I have never done it. I've, I've I've never done it. I've never tried to replicate it, anything like that. But let's let's give it a go. This is like I'm just mucking around, so might as well muck around and try and do something actually quite cool. Uh, do I have any quick circles on me? I do indeed. Look at me being prepared. Um, right, let's get rid of stuff I don't need. Hello. Let's. Okay, I'll still do that. So there um, Okay. Um, I'm going to be interested. Ooh, flash bulb. That's cool. Uh, I want to see if that works. I want to see if that does stun enemies. I'm assuming it won't. Because, uh, well, I know, like, knockback doesn't work. But... The thing is, knockback, knockback does apply the animation, which... Are, and, like, there's not much other than actually moving the things back and applying the animation that knockback does. I don't, don't want to sell that. 
Uh, so actually, we could. This could well work. Uh, let me let me check out this flash bulb quickly. Uh, actually, also buy some buy some more quicksicles because uh, you can never have too many. Right. Okay. No, that's not true. But um, okay. Let's let's try. It. I, I'm really interested in this because uh, if this if this works, it's gonna be really cool. I mean, or I could just do it in the other direction and actually miss the Stromlings. And please, please don't let me get smashed to Stromlings whilst trying to test this. <laughs> that would be awful. Um, that would be really awful. Okay, let's let's take two. Let's run up to this guy. Okay, facing the right direction. Stun. Ooh, interesting. Uh, any information on when the property video drops that DLU announced on Twitter? I don't. I don't remember the. So I read the tweet. I don't remember the exact contents of the tweet. Um, I don't know anything about it off the top of my head. Um, all I know is, well, uh, what I can show you guys on stream with regards to properties, uh, which is, which given I'm on my way over. I'm on my way in that direction anyway. Um, where oh, they just went up here. Um, I right, might as well give a go. Uh, let's see. Let's see how properties are coming along. Because, I mean, there was the video. There was, like, uh, the GIF that DLU posted along with uh, the announcement. Uh, or along with that tweet, which basically showed, um, which showed brick building and, like, Deal you weren't showing off brick building before because, like, well, it's very, very buggy. Um, like previously, um, builds wouldn't like save between server restarts, for instance, um, and it kind of wasn't intended. We'd uh, we'd spend too much time on the which, um, which I unfortunately realised too late. But anyway. Um, Anyway, let's, whilst we're on our, on our way over, let's, uh, to hopefully get a land shark. I, I've never tried to get a land shark. I've never experienced the land shark bug myself. So I have no idea. I could possibly also get the land shark around here. I want to say I've heard of someone doing that. But I think there are better places to get it. Um, because let's just think about uh, geography of places. Um, Brick Ant X... I don't know that the... So the thing is, in Nimbus Station, the Death Plains do not ex to, for the water do not extend over the entire map because red, the Red Blocks area is significantly beneath the water level you see from Nimbus Station. Um, so... So we know that, like... Because I, so we know the planes don't extend everywhere because if they did when you walked down, you'd get smashed by one. So I'd expect... And like brick annex is you've kind of own you can only access the water in one direction so there may well literally just be the one death plane for that which means i i don't have any memories of someone mentioning brick a brick annex in one of those things which i would guess is because although brick annex is very 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 close to the water level it's i suspect the death plane might not extend that far back um Oh, brilliant, the quote. Uh, if properties is your answer, well, we've got a video going live this week with gameplay of exactly that. I mean, I I know nothing of it. Um, okay, let's just... Let's see how brick builds are looking. So here we are. Let's, let's make a beautiful little... Beautiful little thing. I don't know what this thing is, but it shall be called a thing, and it shall be very thing-like. Um, um, so yeah, previously between server restarts, stuff like this would save. I obviously can't guarantee a server restart whilst I'm on stream. <laughs> I don't think I can crash the server on command. I probably... There probably is something I can do that will crash it, but I, I don't know off the top of my head. Let's just have a little fun, make it reasonably difficult to stand on. Turns out these pieces 
are brilliant. Um, for like making things that are that are really difficult to stand on because you've basically as a player you cannot stand on this stud you've got to stand on the very tip it looks like you should be able to stand on the stud and it actually that that's a lie it technically is possible but it's it's very very difficult to stand on that stud because if you go too far to one side uh you will basically the play the bottom of the player's character is kind of uh is shaped like a cone um and so if you if you like land if you land with any part of that cone touching this slope you'll fall off which means the cone has to land on right on the edge of that stud without touching the slope itself which is like obviously a really precise jump um so yeah those can make those can make very hard things to stand on i i don't really have any idea what i'm doing now i'm just chucking some stuff on here and okay let's just uh-oh i don't think this should be maybe this is just taking that long uh last time i did try to save a brick build it did crash things i uh it did not it didn't crash like the server but it did uh it did crash my client uh, and i had to restart so it could well be this is just going to crash um in which case that gives you an idea of where properties are <laughs> i mean if the yeah this looks like it's gonna cr it's, it's a crash uh which yeah i mean that i hope hopefully this answers your question as to how properties are doing at the moment they are still they're still buggy um i don't know when that video will be coming out but um uh yeah enjoy Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bother waiting for too long. I'm just gonna bail on this. Ooh. Oh, that's a. <laughs> this is a problem. Okay, looks like I'm logging out at the very least then. Um. <laughs> hey, Vyski. Um. Well, it depends. What's your physics class on? Because I might be able to give the same lesson. Um. Okay, so I got out, so it was just the saving, but when I log back in, I almost guarantee you that won't, uh, it won't be there. Uh, <laughs> such a random live, but this is cool. All of me going live is random. Oh, speak, speak, speaking of me going live being totally random and me being unprepared, whilst you have this loading screen, let's also just get the power cable for my, oh, okay, well, the loading screen's over, but I still need the power cable for my laptop, because I did not plan this in advance. I see this as an absolute win. Um, I, I, I know what I'm doing, I'm competent. Um. There we are. Um, okay, let's hop back in. Okay, um, do I bother checking out Blockyard? We know, we know that brick builds are bugged. It doesn't seem like uh, DLU being down changed anything with brick builds, so I'm not gonna worry too much about testing that. Which means we have, we have one task along which to continue, which is as requested by Mr. Sandman Incorporated. Let's see if we can manage to get ourselves a land shark. I have never done this before. I, I know like the basis behind the bug. I know how it works because uh, I guess it was presumably on my interview with Darwin we discussed this. Um, uh, yeah, no, we must have done. Um, because, like, that is the archetypal and famous DLU bug. Um, or famous, like, within within certain parts of the community, anyway. Um, the land shark is, is quite the meme. Uh, even if I do say so myself. Okay, so let's... So, yeah, as I was... Exp so, as Darwin, I think, ex either explained to me outside of that video, but I'm pretty certain it was on that video... Uh, 
basically, or it might have been in the call we had right before that video, uh, the land shark happens when the server loses track of uh, where the player is because the server doesn't really take into account the fact that uh, the fact that we move that uh, the quick score moves us with some velocity. Let's just also note quickly. Uh, let's get an idea of an idea of levels of, and heights of terrain. Uh, can I zoom out and load both load both things in at once? I'm assuming I can. No. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, look that that water is basically at the level we're at now. It's a little bit beneath, but. Yeah. Um, now look how much further down we can go down here. I love the fact that I never noticed this in live. It literally, it took Darwin telling me for me to, for me to know what was going on. Um, uh, for, yeah, I just, I don't know. They covered it up. They covered it up pretty well. You don't really think about the water levels, but the land shark videos i have seen all suggest you should be able to get a land shark if anywhere somewhere down here i suspect your odds your odds possibly could be even better along there but the thing is that there because that's closer to the water but the thing is there's terrain there so i'm just gonna go for looking around here some double jumps um so the idea is hopefully the server loses track of me because i'm moving too quickly um and so it thinks perhaps, just thinking about running into walls, um, because I want the server to, yeah, I want the server to lose track of me somehow. Okay, first attempt failed. We've got quick, we've got quick schools, we've got money to waste doing this. Let's, and I kind of do want a land shark now. <laughs> this has been suggested to me, if I'm honest. Um, assuming I would be able to join closed beta, this is from Raymond. Uh, what should I do besides play the game? Um... What do you mean? Uh, I mean, DLU are always going to be happy to have people like recording content, streaming, sharing content, etc. So like, that'd be brilliant. I mean, that's still playing the game. Like, I, I don't know what you mean besides playing the game. I mean, live your life as normal. Um, <laughs> you're under no obligation to do anything other than that. Okay, wait. Maybe DLU patched land shark, or maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Um, I don't know precisely how it was achieved. It definitely was quick score related. And hello, Cold Paw. Uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome to a, a, another stream because I stream randomly and without warning. Have fun. Um, let's, like, let's just quickly do this. On top, no, that's just a complete plane all the way around. Um, um, okay, so like looking specifically for bugs, etc., like that's very, very, very helpful. And like when you find a bug, trying to find steps to reproduce that bug is brilliant. Like if you if you want to help out DLU, that is the way to do it as a tester. However, there is no way. Ugh. I mean, there's oh, there is also no way, but there's like no intention that um, from DLU or no expectation from DLU that uh, in any way people would uh, people will like be specifically looking for bugs. The expectation is that the vast, vast majority of players will just be having a good time. Uh, streaming helps because it means if you do uh, if you do experience a bug, like you've caught it on video, that's always helpful. Um, or in my case, you can spend ages using using all your quicksicles looking for the land shark and still not catch one on video, uh, which possibly means that got fixed at some point, which is really, really sad that I never got to experience one. Let's just go down here. Um, can also get myself to... Okay, let's see if I can get myself into a falling state. That could also do something, potentially. Dang it. Okay, I need to be... I need to get into a falling state whilst at full run speed, which means I want to be... I can't even slide off of there because it's a sharp edge. 
I, okay, I don't think I can get into a falling state at full quicksicle speed, but I certainly can't do it very easily. Okay, it, it would be possible I could try and come up with a setup involving like some of these studs or something there now. More effort than it's worth. So, okay, unfortunately it's looking like we are not getting a land shark. Maybe deal you have properly patched it. There you are. I mean, this is like the video that started the land shark meme. <laughs> Uh, was taken literally running like along here. Um, okay, I mean, I guess the one thing I haven't done is try just running without jumping. Uh, and if it if it is a case of it losing track of my position and physics or something, maybe that could make a difference. Um, I was trying to jump to try and get myself some velocity, but depending on how the server actually loses track of things, maybe it's better not to. But yeah, still nothing there. Yeah, so I, I would recommend streaming. The deal you would like streaming just because it's it's a combination of publicity, better videos than mine being out there, um, which wouldn't be very difficult. Uh, oh, hello. I should. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. So I just got a ping from somewhere. Let me just, just check. I shouldn't have gotten a ping from there. Does that mean I have... I've Discord up. Rookie error and someone's someone's uh, posting messages in the LEGO Universe speedrunning Discord. Hence pings. Okay, there we are. I will turn that off so people don't think uh, they have pings. There we are. Okay. Okay, so that attempt, that attempt at finding ourselves a land shark, I think we can call that a reasonably conclusive fail. That's a shame, but I mean, it means another bug's been fixed, which... So it's a shame, but it's also not really that much of a shame. Uh, let's just check how many faction tokens we're on. Not enough for anything extra. Um, uh, no new pieces of faction gear, so we might as well go back now. Um, yeah. Okay, so... So, I mean, I think the rest of this then is just going to be a... <laughs> when you forget the difference between alt and shift. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think the rest of this is just going to be, like, I don't really have much, many plans other than grinding. I guess we could, rather than grinding up this character, because I feel you guys have spent a lot of time watching me grind spiderlings. So rather than grinding spiderlings, how about I swap over to my, uh, to my ninja, but it's a pirate ninja, I think the name of the character is, which is obviously the Venture League account. Um... Let's do that quickly and let's... Because we can we can run through missions. We can... So, I had just done the Spider Queen on there. Um, I'm pretty certain. But, I don't remember if I technically completed it. Uh, we will find out which one's that guy. No, that's the Hardcore attempt. This is... There we are. So, I am... So, those of you who are wondering what Ninja Hardcore 18 is, that is my 18th attempt at Hardcore LU. And it's one I am not going to run to completion at the moment because currently the Spider Queen is basically bu bugged to such an extent that it's going to be nigh on it impossible uh, to actually to actually beat her. Um, like it's the Spider Queen herself isn't the problem. It is I am bad. Uh, it is the AI. Uh, of the spiders, uh, the spiderlings she spawns, which is really, like, the spiderlings are significantly less health than normal spiderlings. If they worked like normal spiderlings, I could easily, like, take them on and defeat them with a couple of, um, a couple of firecrackers. I think I'd need about six, but that's fine, because your average run through Avant Gardens does get you about six. Um, so, like, in theory, that would be fine, but... Oh, have I not completed this yet? Or have I just entered a bug state? It seems like I haven't completed this. Which means, I mean, hopefully... I mean, if I haven't completed this, this will be brilliant. Um, or I have just bugged it and have done slash reset property missions. But, I, okay, no. None of this is coming up, which means... That mission is the one you get right away. It's the one you literally pick up from him to tell you to go to Lockyard. I think, unless... I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I can't imagine I've completed this, which, which I mean, would be brilliant, because this, 
this gives us a chance. I mean, I'm going to be using the, fac the faction gear to fight the Spider Queen, because I know I can fight the Spider Queen with my fists and with zero deaths. Love it when she starts shooting you this early. Um, I, know, I know I can do that, so I'm not going to worry about practicing that so much. What I really want to find out is uh, how many damage the Spiderlings do. Uh, not how many damage they do. Uh, wait, did that kick me out? That's interesting. Um, yeah, I want to, I want to find out whether or not they teleport to you like they were before. Uh, hopefully they don't. Uh, oh yeah, you can tell I was preparing for this, uh, for doing a, yeah, this is, yeah, Pirate Ninja. Scare me for a second, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much effort, like, demonstrating, uh, demonstrating all the tricks for the Spider Queen, because it's just tedious, you'll get bored, um. How have I only just got Smashing Success 1? Surprising. I mean, you get those... I normally get that sometime around the monument. Um, not today, it would appear. Uh, okay, let's... This will be reasonably easy. Just grind down a little bit of health. Avoid some attacks if we can, but honestly, we don't need to. That one, however, it is worth avoiding. Uh, because if you avoid... Because if you don't avoid that attack, you're going to get knocked back anyway. So, well, you... You got class in five hours, bedtime, have a good stream. Uh, thanks for turning up. Um, enjoy classes. Wait, five hours? Oh god, yes, yes, go to sleep. Sleep now. Um, okay. Okay, this is... Okay, so we shouldn't attack any of these whilst the spawning animation is ongoing. That crashes the server. Um, okay, and yep, we have... Oh, um... Do we have teleporting spiderlings? Yeah, okay, so I know they're not 100% teleporting, but they're still, that is still not the way they should normally behave, like they are, they're running over there too quickly, like too in sync. These are, uh, yeah, it's basically impossible to beat these as they are, like, no, ha uh, like with fists only. It's easy, easy enough, uh, with, uh, with this guy, because we've got armor to tank hits. And so the thing is, it, okay, you can get lucky in a hardcore LU run and have and have those two spawn at just the right times so that they're the same at the same point on their attack cycle. Uh, and if you manage that, uh, if you have them at the same point in your attack cycle, you can basically just time things cleverly. Um, uh, yeah, basically what you can do is just say, okay, I know they're going to cycle between these three attacks. Uh, I know at this point they're going to go for a... Let's just regenerate some armor. I know at this point they're going to go for a web shoot attack. Therefore, I'm not going to attack them. And when they're going to go for their... I mean, it's called a fireball, apparently, but it doesn't look much like one. And when they're going to go for their fireball attack, uh, you attack them then. Uh, because as you can see from the way my health just decreased. That's a that's a lot of damage um, that that they do um, with their web shooters. So we, we don't wanna we don't wanna get hit by that. Um, yeah. Uh, unfortunately Yeah. Unfortunately there's no real way of guaranteeing they're all going to get onto one cycle and I don't really want to take the risk on the hardcore LU character. So I'm just waiting until it's fixed to go for that run. The upside is that it is definitely possible, which is quite nice. Um, like, you've got to be careful, but it's actually... Fighting the Spider Queen is probably easier than fighting actual spider legs, which is cool. <laughs> what do I think are the pros and cons of every faction and their different classes? Is that all 12 of <laughs> them? Because, yeah, if I'm honest, I'm no expert. Oh, hello, we've got the lighting glitch. I love the, like, this lighting glitch, though, honestly. So, you've got the you've got the sky just looking beautiful and lovely and blue, and it's just dark. And honestly, I think it's kind of cool. And, like, the texture's disappeared from the ground swell and everything. Um, um, yeah, what do I think the pros and cons are of every faction different classes? Um... 
I can do a reasonably good rundown for assembly, I feel. Um, I do not... I have never played, to any great extent, uh, Venture League or Sentinel. I, in live, at one point became a Sentinel Space Ranger. Um, and that was quite useful, uh, because Sentinel Space Ranger, you've got an... Uh, your main attack is AoE, uh, which is like it's quite nice to have an AoE main. Um, wait a second, I was getting the you don't have enough room in your backpack space. That's a bug. I'll report that quickly. Um, got got a not enough room in backpack message. <laughs> when uh, the mission rewards were models. There we are. Because uh, I'll forget that otherwise. I need to do that at some point. Um, yes, yeah, so, okay. So, thoughts. I'm going to think I have to stop somewhat playing whilst I get this. Okay, so thoughts. We have got, uh, for, for assembly, we have got Summoner, Engineer, and uh, Summoner, Engineer, and Inventor. Um, in terms of rank three, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with, I'm, so I'm going to just basically consider their rank three gear. Uh, in terms of rank three gear, I believe the helmet for both the, uh, for both the Engineer and the Summoner Oh, God. Okay, wait a second. Custom conversation now, yes, sir. Um, do I need to... Oh, okay. I, I thought curse conversation meant that I needed to moderate something. Um, although, in retrospect, you're a mod, so I, I should have assumed that wasn't the case. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, Engineer and Summoner Helmets, they both... Uh, they're, the things they put down in an attack both do the same amount of damage. I don't know how met how like how fast their rates are maybe their rates are different enough that it makes a difference um i that i haven't tested in depth um well i see nothing wrong with this um uh yeah so, so i haven't looked at that in depth but connections to line up no, no, these, these will never line up. I, I have come to accept this. Some people have managed to get these to line up. I do not accept their existence. Um, I, I do not believe these people actually exist. Oh no, it won't let me place this? Okay. I think it thinks my character's in the way. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so... So between those two, I don't think there's much difference. And you've got a similar thing with the, with the shoulder pads and the things, and the things they do. So the shoulder pads, um, the the attack the attack the shoulder pads do for both the uh, both the uh, engineer and summoner, both of them uh, put you in an invincible state for some period of time, and do attacks to surrounding enemies. I'm pretty certain they both last the same amount of time. Uh, the only difference I know is that the engineer one does 180 degrees. They both do the same amount of damage, but they do it in different intervals. I don't think that makes a huge amount of difference. The Engineer one does it 180 degree attack, though, and the Summoner does 360, which is why I prefer Summoner. Uh, on top of that, Summoner doesn't have to quick build stuff. Uh, on the other hand, uh, um, oh, and then I also would, like, the, the Summoner Thwok, uh, like, distracts enemies as and, like, soaks up a ton of damage and deals damage to them. Um, engineer magnet just picks up enemies and then like puts them back down i don't see that being as useful personally um hence i always go uh summoner over engineer however the huge 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 exception to this rule is the valiant weapon uh you should never under any circumstances ever get the wing reaper it is awful like genuinely genuinely awful Engineer is the one that builds a fortress around himself, yep, uh, and the summoner gets a thwok. 
Uh, oh, it's, a per it's the personal fortress. So that's right. Uh, and yeah, and the summoner. Uh, not the summoner doesn't get a thwock. Uh, the summoner gets a scratch, which surrounds it, uh, them and attacks for them, uh, which is. Uh, which, yeah, does the same amount of damage. Um. The same amount of damage, but uh, it does damage in 360 degrees, so I personally prefer it for that reason. Um, yeah, let's pick everything up, because this property looks atrocious right now. Um, yeah, it should be sufficient. Its behaviours... Yeah, yeah, that's not happening. Um, Maelstrom has been pushed back. There we are. Um, cool, let's open up this pack. Or, you know, just drag Maelstrom bricks onto ourselves. We can also do that. Uh, yeah, uh, so, okay, then, com then compare that to the Inventor. So, I can't compare Inventor Valiant Weapons because the Inventor doesn't have that. Those all still came up as locked. I wonder what that was. Maybe you need to get the message from Vance Bulwark first um, to tell you to visit other people. Because presumably Vance tells you to talk to Skylane, or maybe you just talk directly to Skylane after this, and then you pick a message from Vance afterwards. No, that's Vance Bulwark. Who is it? The guy who stands shouting in front of the launch pad. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, uh, oh God, Inventor then, yeah. Inventor has the one upside of range. Range, brilliant. Um, it does, I think its turret does exactly the same amount of damage. Uh, similarly to the to the summoner, I don't think you have to build it, which is good. Um, I uh, the next one is your offhand attack that I think that throws like a beehive at your opponent. So that does damage over time. I don't remember how much damage over time it does. Unlike the other two, uh, the other two though, I don't think it distracts them in any way. Um, and I don't know, I feel you can do more damage with a Thwop, because the Thwop deals both damage and distracts them. Um, and it will do it to pretty much anything as well. Um, like, I don't know if you can magnetise Dark Spiderlings or anything, but you definitely can distract most things with a Thwop. Um, okay, so, is there anything else we need to do over here? Nothing in particular. I'd like, I know there are missions I haven't done yet on this character, but we're just trying to get uh, to Venture League. So yeah, that's why I personally, until very late game, when I have loads and loads of faction totals, uh, faction tokens, I will always go summer. Um, uh, okay, according to the wiki, there are 12 Valiant weapons, but only 8 are displayed in the info box. Were the other 4 even available? So, the, the inventor, Shinobi, I want to say adventurer... I could be could be totally wrong on that. Uh, and uh, Space Ranger classes were all released uh, later. I don't know when it was. Probably Power of Nexus Force. I, I, I don't know. They were all released later and they did not have... Uh, they had Valiant Weapons planned, but they were not ever implemented into the game. They did, however... They did, however, technically exist in the game files and late game were given out to players, but they did not have any special attacks, like any, even any animations on the attacks, anything like that. Pretty much the same thing you would get if you, if you went into an early, god I feel old just thinking about this, but if you went into like an, a very early server and tried to use, and tried to, uh, tried to attack something, uh, with a... Uh, with the weapon equipped, and it just wouldn't load the animations for the weapons. Um, what am I doing? I'm presumably talking to Mardolf. I wasn't actually paying attention. Uh, yeah, Mardolf's first. I don't do anything before him. Uh, so yes, there are there are weapons, there are weapon meshes available in the game. I'm not totally certain if the animations exist. DLU almost certainly will implement them at some point. Like. Just because, just because, like, deal you're fanboys, just like the rest of us. They, um, I was just one. I was just, yeah. Rain's no longer on the 
Rain, uh, okay, Rain currently isn't a developer, uh, so I think the team is all male, which means my use of fanboys wasn't wasn't correct, even if it was a gendered term. Um, wasn't incorrect, I don't think. Um, anyway, I'm not... Uh, I digress heavily. Um, okay, let's, let's do that, because I don't have any other nose cones, and let's just replace... Um, yeah, the LU community is not known for being the most diverse place. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, is there a chance to get them into DLU? Yes, at some point. Because, like, everyone wants new things. And I put an image at some point somewhere in a video. Well, I mean, vastly put the image in the video. Um, discussing... Uh, like adding stuff to the codebase, I'm trying to remember exactly which video it was, I don't remember, but basically uh, the fact that CDM Pants has literally been looking at adding new uh, new classes to. Um, and the one that springs to mind is to the Sentinels uh, and the, with the planned addition of the Viking, uh, which would be cool. So yeah, there's definitely, there are plans to add new things on. I can't see them not finishing up the Valiants for the old classes. Like, they're cool. Add them. Um, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, for the other classes, I genuinely don't know. Um, like, out of Paradox, your standard choice would be to go... Uh, would be to go Space Marauder for the Valiant. Personally... Personally, I am more in my my paradox character. I am maining sorcerer at the moment. Um, I mean, inevitably, I end up maining all three um, because um, basically because if you um, because you get achievements, etc., you get imagination points for picking up everything. A particular faction and it's easier to come upon faction tokens than is LU score so it's worth grinding for faction tokens to get uh, classes you don't intend to main. So yeah. Um, uh, yeah so I don't know I I would normally tend to go for the sorcerer because uh, certainly early on I don't have much experience late game I know however that they do have an attack where they deal like so something stupid like 30 damage in like a large radius and also restore 30 imagination um I, the exact numbers i'm saying might be off but it is it's pretty powerful and i don't like the idea of being in a fight with the wormholer and running out of imagination because of course normally you can recharge that imagination quite easily um but if you're a member of paradox because like as paradox your uh, charge up is restoring imagination other than the fact that you've made the decision to equip your worm holder, which doesn't have a charge up because the charge up to restore imagination is the uh, like minigun charge up that everyone rants about and was the reason you went for that in the first place. So yeah, you kind of get a little bit, a little bit stuck there. Um, so yeah, um, I personally, I guess what you could do. You probably still have issues like maintaining your imagination, um, but what you do always have the option of doing is going for the, uh, going for the summoner shoulder pads because I think it's the. So, the feeling when you manage to soft lock yourself in LU. Um, actually, I've done that many times. I shouldn't really joke. Um, yeah, I, if it's the summoner shoulder pads that deals the huge AOE damage and imagination recharge, then then you could probably combine those quite nicely with your Valiant Weapon, although then, of course, you don't get your uh, class bonuses, uh, which, in which for Paradox, are recharging imagination when you smash an enemy. Which means that, actually, if you wormhole her into a load of Stromlings, you should come out even, I think. Because, like, every time you smash a Stromling, you're going to get one imagination. You should come out better than even. Um... Well, this is why... Right, right before I had a, right be before I started this, I was like, I could get myself a glass of water for cheering this, but like I've, I've just, I've just had a thing, glass of orange juice. I'm, I'm feeling in a, 
Oh, I'm, I'm feeling I'm ready, and like already my throat's hurting. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Um, I, I, I never do. When have I ever thought anything about this channel through? Um, awesome to see how far this project has come. I still recall uni where minifig customization isn't a thing, and that's from Zajank or Zayank. Zayank, Zajank. I've, I've gone through, I think, every possible combination it could be. And we're going with Venture League. Ready to explore and uncover the secrets of the universe. Sign up with the Venture League. Thank you, Patrick Stewart. You have swayed me. Wait a second. It was Patrick Stewart. It wasn't Ian McCallum. I don't know. I don't know people who talk for movies. Because I don't watch many movies. So I have no idea... <laughs> If I'm right or wrong on any of that. Anyway. Um, but you know, it is amazing to think how far we've come as a community. Like, Collect faction tokens okay, to I, special I have no idea. Opinions. Ranks in your what do we want to go for? Okay, so my instant reaction is Daredevil's very, very cool. Because their main attack... They're one of the few things that deal, like... Uh, they're, I think, the only item in the game, maybe, that deals a combo of four. Um, rather than a combo of three. So, I'm in... I kind of like that. Um, but, uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what everything has to offer. Um, assist your allies with team-based healing. Well, that's not useful. For me, because teams aren't working and I don't have any friends. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, we have one vote for Buccaneer. I'm, yeah. Um, Buccaneer would attack, so that's on hand. So that that's off hand. So we won't get the off hand to begin with. So we'll be, we won't be ranged. Don't the Daredevils have a built-in quicksicle? I they've got Fig on fire is the thing that springs to mind, which has the same effect as Quick Score. It also deals damage on contact to enemies. However, uh, that is the rank... That is the offhand item, which you only get at rank 2. So I don't know if they have, do have a built-in Quick Score normally. If they have a built-in Quick Score, that is very, very tempting. The only, is the only issue with any of these classes is I'm used to being Assembly. Uh, or, if I'm not Assembly, then Paradox. And none of these guys have, like, the ability to do the really useful things I like, which is, you know, recharge armor or recharge imagination. And maybe these guys, I think these guys recharge health, don't they, maybe? Um, anyway, yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make too much difference. We'll get both. So, I don't know why I spent that long going for it. I'm gonna take Rayman's suggestion and go for Buccaneer. Um, and we'll find out, because I, like, I've not played these classes before. So I don't actually, and I don't have room in my inventory for this because I did all I saved up all of these for a boss fight that I didn't end up doing. So I'll tempted to just spam entry with all of these. And just sent him tons of mails. Um with and I've got to do them all individually because it won't scroll it doesn't scroll up in one go. Okay. It's be fun, we might be here for a minute or two. I mean, this is enough to... I'll just use these as I go. Um, I'll just use them very freely. Because it, it's not really worth selling them back. We don't get that much. We only get a temp. Full steam ahead. Temporary speed boost. Oh. Okay, this might be interesting. Oh. Do all of these do four combos? Okay, slight voice break there. We don't... Okay, so that just does damage. Wait a second. That's for rank... What? When do you... Since when do you get offhand attacks at rank 1? Whoa. I... I, I might have just been converted. Um, I obviously don't have any faction tokens yet. I don't know why I was checking that. Whoa. I did not realise. I'm pretty certain you don't get this with the Shinobi class. Uh, even though later on the Shinobi gives you both 
Um, both weapons, I seem to remember. Whoa, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take a look at this. So, there are two things that could happen here. Uh, one, we get the quick skill effect, or two, we get the charge effect. Or three, which would be far more... Which would be amazing, we get a... We get a new effect, which is faster. I don't think we're going to. Yeah, okay, so this... This looks to be the same speed as the Quixicle. If it's not, this could be amazing. And if this is a different speed to the Quixicle, and if this is faster than the Quixicle, for instance, that could actually open up new strats. I'm assuming it's got to be the same speed, though. The only thing that makes me doubt it is the fact it did play a different effect, which means it internally could be stored differently. However, on the other hand, why would they particularly... Why would they give you something that was like a different strength? The Shinobi Rush is available at tier... Yeah, it's available at tier 2, so yeah, not tier 1. Yeah, okay, and this one, full steam ahead. What is full... St so which one was the one I just... I know, so super jump. I'm interested in super jump. I'm assuming... I'm pretty certain Funky tested this uh, in the past, but there's quite an easy test to see whether or not something does you something gets you any higher. If this does get you higher, it's a big thing. Uh, it's a thing we really, really care about, but I doubt it will. So... Okay, wait a second, that should not have... Okay, so this is... This, you've kind of got to time it right to get up there. Um, so that wasn't as good a test as I'd, as I'd hoped. I just got a letter. And 